Hello everyone, welcome back to the 5 Reasons and Moo blog. I am of course Matthew Oliver, your local mooer, helping create wedding and events all around the country and all around the world. So today's 5 Reasons, yes 5 Reasons, is talking to you about your bouquet and how to choose the best bouquet for you. You've got to choose it perfectly because the bouquets are here as the main accessory to your dress. So you don't want to overpower your beautiful gorgeous dress and you don't want to underpower your beautiful gorgeous bouquet. Okay, I hope you understand that. Bouquets come in different shapes and sizes. They don't just have to be flowers, which obviously which is a tradition. Traditionally, we have flowers as our bouquets. You can have, you know, feather fans, you know, beautiful feather fans, old vintage accessories, gorgeous culture accessories. So there's many, many different styles and designs you can actually have for your bouquet. So this five reasons is here to help you choose the perfect one for your shape, size and style for your wedding. The first reason is you've got to find the perfect size bouquet that will reflect you and your dress. You don't want to go for something too big if you're a small petite person. And you don't want to go for something too small if you're quite, you know, um, a large lady or obviously man. You know, men can have bouquets as well. I'm not being discriminated at all. Okay, so just remember, you've got to choose the right size that reflects you. Most florists and designers that design bouquets will help you understand what would be best suited for you. It's like choosing a dress, but you have to remember your dress size and what dress you're having before choosing your bouquet styles. Second reason, you've got to choose the right style that reflects you. Okay, because obviously it's all about personality again and your theme of your wedding. There's different style bouquets, so I'm just going to go through the you know, the traditional flower ones. Obviously, you can have feather fans, like I said before, but traditional flower ones are, you've got the round bouquets, which are just, you know, the traditional round bouquets that most of us go for. You've got the sprayed ones, which are loads of different layers of flowers, which can, you know, be like a bunch or, you know, a sprig of flowers, which looks like it's been just picked from the garden. Third one, you've got the, the you know, traditional teardrop, um, bouquet which obviously it's, it's like you know all hanging down um which is great as well and also you got the over the arm bouquet which is obviously a few lovely flowers coming over your arm all different styles so it all depends on the style you're looking for and the theme you're wanting to create so always think about the style of the bouquet you're looking for third reason the color as well it's a massive massive part of it so obviously you it is the main accessory for the dress. So if you are going down the traditional, you know, white or cream wedding dress, you can obviously use any colour, okay? So remember that. But obviously if you're going for a red dress or um, a pink dress, you know, everyone's weird. You know, everyone's, you know, what people like these days. You never know. And it happens. So it's fine. I'm not being discriminated. You obviously got to choose the right colour. And also that colour has to reflect the whole wedding, not just use in the bouquet. You have to try and, you know, use that colour for the rest of the day and all the other accessories that you use. Fourth reason, the right theme as well. So like I said, the style, the theme is very similar, but obviously it's the theme of the wedding. So maybe if you are having, you know, I always use this as my quote, a Star Wars theme, but maybe you can use like a Star Wars character or a sort of stylized bouquet that reflects Star Wars, you know? You, you never know, you might have a Chewbacca head as a bouquet, you, you never, you know, or a lightsaber could be the bouquet, but yeah, obviously try and go with the theme of the wedding with the bouquet and everyone will obviously understand it so it all matches you don't want to go off the road okay it's all about stylizing it and making it all the same compaction and that's a new dictionary word fifth reason and you have to have the right bouquet obviously it's all about the bouquet definitely definitely use these five reasons to help you choose the bouquet that is of your dreams and that will not take away your beautiful dress that's the five reasons, and I'm trying to limitize it, make it a shorter video. So, hope you all like it, hope you're enjoying it, and goodbye to you all. Ta ta.